I got the plug in the city. Shalom Israel with the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. I start at the 1 West 125th Street, Harlem, New York, under Commander General Yohanna. We're not affiliated with any other Israelite group nor any other Christian organization. I'm priest in the office of 500 Yerashimah in the ISUPK. Uh, right now we're out in Virginia, anywhere in Virginia. We're in Norfolk, Chesapeake, Virginia Beach, we're in the Hampton Roads area, Portsmouth, Hampton, Suffolk, um, Virginia, uh, I think I said, uh, Virginia Beach already. Um, we're, we're in the Hampton Roads area. We're anywhere in Virginia, like uh, Petersburg, Richmond. If you're anywhere in Virginia, you can get in contact with the Virginia IS, um, the ISUBK in Virginia. That's the state that we're in. And we're very, very mobile. Get in contact with us. And um, we have a Facebook you can follow and, and like and subscribe to. We have a YouTube channel called No Cowards Virginia. We also have a, um, we have a Twitter page. We have, um, we have a, a, a Instagram. Just click up ISUPK Virginia, even ISUPK, like any ISUPK site, is most most definitely. Please subscribe and follow and like. It's very important. Even our uh, commanding general Johanna's uh, Black Watch page, um, Black Watch. Please uh, subscribe to that as well. Commanding general Johanna, which is the leader of Israel, right? He brings out heavy, heavy topics and information every Monday. All right, at nine o'clock. All right. It's very, very important. The most definitely subscribe to Black Watch as well. Um, so you know, so since we're in Norfolk, right? We got a topic. There's a real, uh, there's a top. There, there's a situation going on in Norfolk. You got black men protesting and marching in the city of Norfolk, and they're not just marching. They're they they're marching in a certain way to try to make a point, right? Or the words that they use was Salaki, they use the word to, um, they're trying to send a message. So they're marching to send a message. They're, um, and they're marching in a certain way to make a point and send that very message. And so the way they're sending it is to wear suits and ties, right? Now when blacks, when, when, when the black community first started marching, right? First, allow me to state that marching is so Christian and marching is so weak, you understand? Like, if you want to, if you are a black, Hispanic, or Native American man, right, and you want to fix the conditions of so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans in, a, in America, marching is not the answer. Marching is so weak and so effeminate and so, coward, and so cowardly, like protesting. It's so... It's, it's such a terrible route to take because it's not going to change anything. Marching, like when, when America was attacked on 9-11, right? Did America decide to march? Did America decide to protest? No. When they were being murdered, like specifically the specific situation was they were being killed and murdered, right? Terrorists came to America, right? and killed over 3,000, 4,000 Americans. This is the situation at hand. Because they were being killed and murdered on 9-11, 2001, and their people, American citizens, were murdered, did America say, you know what? I'm gonna go to Iraq and Iran, and I'm gonna protest. Did America protest? Did America march and say, stop murdering us? Stop tearing down our buildings? Stop sending airplanes and jets into our buildings and our skyscrapers. Did they did they write that on signs? Did they march? Did they did they make sure instead of strapping a bomb to their chest, did they and say, I'm not gonna strap a bomb to my chest. I'm a I'ma wear a suit and a tie so so I can go to Iraq and Iran and march and say, hey, it wasn't right for you to murder over 3,000, 4,000 Americans. It wasn't it wasn't it wasn't right for you to destroy the families of America and allowing American citizens five years later die because they inhaled so much smoke because of when the towers fell. Did you see America march and protest about 9-11? No, America went to war. That's what America did. America went to war and fought because you murdered 
because the because somewhere in Iraq and Iran and Al Qaeda and whoever they're fighting murdered 3,000, 4,000 Americans in America. That's what we have to understand. All right. So when black people, that's why it's so weak for the black, Hispanic, and Native American people to march and to protest. It's so weak. It's so cowardly because it's not going to it's not going to send any messages at all. What message that you're sending to America is that you're still Christian, that you're still weak, and that you're still a coward, and you're not willing to actually fight and actually and actually take a proper stand to fix your nation and to fix your race of people. You rather you rather go and wear a suit and a tie, go into the Christian church and pray and expect everything to change overnight. That's not what's going to fix the conditions of blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. So when you're going downtown Norfolk and going into the city of Norfolk and decide that I'm going to march and I'm going to protest and I'm going to do it a different way as if it's going to send a certain message like wearing a suit and a tie is going to send a message all you're doing is destroying the black image all you're doing as a nation of people is destroying the image of the most high because guess what a lot of blacks and Hispanics are what Christians and they believe in serving God they believe in serving the most high and guess what the most high has nothing to do with marching the most the most high is actually against marching when it comes to protesting, that's not the image that the Most High is about. The image of the Most High has nothing to do with protesting and marching and picket signs and dressing in suits and ties. That's actually the complete opposite of, of, of the image of the, of, of the Lord. It's the complete opposite image of what, God, what, what, of, of what God is viewed as, you understand? And that's why Christianity is so is so disgusting and that's why Christian and that's why Christian men are so weak that's why Christian men are not able to breed more men all their breeding is homosexuals all their breeding is a soft and effeminate men that can't run households and allow a woman to run all over them they 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 raise up bloods and crips and gangsta disciples and, 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 and they just bring up men that don't know how to handle certain situations and the only way they feel fit is by the handle of situation is by is by killing each other. Like that's what the Christian church breeds and that's what Christian church men teach, you understand? And breed, why? Because they're truly not following the Lord the way the Lord is supposed to be followed. They do not know the real image of God nor the Lord and the God of the Bible and because of so, Nothing is going to be successful and prosperous in anything that we do. So there, so there are men in Norfolk marching, and a certain message they want to send is sending a message by marching in suits. That's nothing new. Martin Luther King marched in a suit. Every Christian, almost every Christian in the 60s were marching in suits. And guess what? Did anything change behind them marching in suits? That's the question you have to ask, uh, black man. You want to march in Norfolk with suits and ties, right? Like, like that's what's gonna send the message. Oh, I'ma wear a suit and a tie, and I, I just know for sure, I just I, I just know for sure that's going to, to, to do something. That's that's that that's going to support the cause of not, you know, black men are not all thugs and all this other nonsense. Like I I just know that's going to change the fact of, you know, Eric Garner not being dead and, and, and George Floyd not being dead. You know, maybe that's going to stop them killing us, you know. Just suits and ties. Suits and ties is what's going to make the so our oppressor, the so-called white man, make our oppressor say, you know what? Because they're wearing suits and ties, we're going to stop murdering them. We're going to stop killing them. We're going to stop arresting them. We're, we're going to stop putting them in prison. We're, we're going to stop pushing crack cocaine in their communities. We're, gonna, we're, we're just going to stop everything harmful that we're doing to them because they're wearing suits and ties. Martin Luther King wore a suit and tie. Almost every Christian in the 60s wore a suit and tie. And guess what? The police were still murdering us. The so our oppressor was murdering us and still killing us and throwing us in prison and throwing us in jail. In the 70s, they were still murdering us. They were still killing us. They were still throwing us in jail. They were still throwing us in prison. In the 80s, in the 90s, in 2000, 2010, all the way down to 2020, they were still murdering us. They were still killing us 
and throwing us in jail and throwing us in prison. They were still pushing crack cocaine into our communities. They were still pushing illegal firearms into our communities. They were still pushing weed and marijuana and ganja into our communities. They were still pushing mollies and Percocets and codeine in your bloodstream into our communities. These are the things that our oppressor kept on doing even though we decided to march with suits and ties. And that's what we have to understand. And that's and wearing a suit and a tie isn't going to change our condition, nor is it the real image of God, nor is it the image of our nation of people. You understand? Like our nation of people were war. Like we were warriors. You understand? We were soldiers and warriors. We were a very militant nation of people. Our race was all about milit uh, um, all about militants, all about being a warrior, always about having courage and not being a coward and not being weak. Like that's our nation of people and that's the image of God. Like that's the image of the most high. And that's how our people are perceived in the Bible. Understand like if you wanna be Christ-like and you wanna be like Christ and you wanna follow the Bible and believe in the most high and believe in God and believe in the Lord, you have to believe as men, you have to be a warrior. You have to be a soldier. You, you have to be disciplined. You have, you have to have some type of militancy, you understand? Like that's what it means to actually follow and be and actually and follow the Lord and actually worship the Lord and worship the Most High and actually follow everything that the Bible talks about. The Bible doesn't talk about a suit and tie. That's the white man's culture. So like that's our oppressor's culture. Our oppressor's culture is wearing a suit and a tie and some dress shoes. There's nothing militant. There's nothing soldier-like. There's nothing warrior-like wearing a suit and a tie and some dress shoes. You think you think our oppressor, you think America went into Iran and Iraq and Afghanistan and say, and, and, and you, you, so, so let's think about it. You think America went into Afghanistan with suits and ties because of 9-11? You think, you, do you think uh, America went into Afghanistan and Turkey and, um, and Syria and Iraq and Iran and you know what I'm saying? With suits and ties and dress shoes and you know, and started protesting and marching. You think you think they went in with that? No. They had boots. They had boots on. They had they had they had uniforms. Right? They had they had warlike apparel. Right? They, they they had what warriors would wear. They 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 had what soldiers would wear. They had a gunproof vest. A bulletproof vest. They had a they had a helmet. To, to, to protect themselves because they're going into war. They have some type of shield with them to protect them from, from weapons being attacked because they were going to war. They weren't protesting, they weren't marching, they were going to war. They wore boots because they were going to war. They wore certain type of arm guards and some type of armor and some type of militant uniform because they knew that they were going to war. Well, in the Bible, we have to understand in the Bible, our nation of people, we wore, we went to war. We wore warlike apparel. That was our custom, our heritage, and our tradition. That's what being a warrior is all about. That's what being a soldier is all about. You understand? It has nothing to do with protesting, has nothing to do with marching. We were warriors and we stood strong as soldiers, you understand? We don't believe, listen, ISUBK, there's no cowards, you understand? There's no weakness behind these doors because white, cause, because war is all about, uh, life is all about warfare, you understand? 